I'm joined here this morning by Stephanie Gondola. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. So, Stephanie, I hear something's going on at the sanctuary tonight. Can you tell me about it? That's right. Uh, this evening we are continuing our lecture series. We've done, this will be the fourth, and so we've done it throughout November and December. Um, archaeologists sharing their current research, um, some great uh, maritime history stories. So tonight at 6.30, uh, the Puabic. It's all about the Queen of the Lakes. And this is a very famous uh, yet tragic shipwreck that happened in Thunder Bay in 1865. Maritime archaeologist Phil Hartmeyer will be discussing his research on the Puabic. And um, it's, it's a great opportunity to learn some, some new stuff about this interesting story that you may not have heard before, and also an opportunity to ask questions. And so, uh, what is so special about the Puabic? Well, the Puabic really. Is, it, is a great story that connects people today to maritime history, really Great Lakes maritime history as a whole. It's something that really encapsulates um, the story of maritime commerce and how that really built up our country and the story of the hundreds and hundreds of people that were taking these steamships like the Puabic uh, from the East Coast and emigrating and, and building up the, the Midwest and the West Coast even. Uh, so all sorts of aspects of the story really Tell us a lot about our, our, our area that we live in today. And I hear that this shipwreck is a very deep one, correct? It is. It's about 165 feet deep, so it's a, a technical diving depth. And so a lot of, lot of training to be able to dive to that depth. Um, it's also quite an intact site. There's uh, all sorts of um, features of the shipwreck that really identify it as a, the type of steamer that it was. And um, over 30 people went down on that shipwreck, so it's also a grave site. And I'm sure this is a great way that you guys get to use the ROVs that you guys work with so much. You know, that's very true. Um, that's one of the ways that we examine and research and get to visit a lot of these deeper shipwrecks is um, the marine technology and the underwater robots. Um, yeah, good example of that for sure. And as I was reading earlier, I hear that you guys have 10% off in your gift shop because Christmas right. is right next week. So That's right. Have just a few shopping days left and 10% off through the end of the year, actually, in the Sanctuary Store. And so this evening, the, the store is going to be open because of the lecture series and, you know, extra chance to get your shopping done. It's open until 9 o'clock tonight. So all sorts of different gifts. I mean, everything from, you know, a couple dollars up to bigger gift items, uh, beautiful art prints of shipwrecks and, and ships afloat on the water. And so a um, great opportunity to come get a, a discount, come get some stocking stuffers. You even get the 10% off the glass bottom boat tickets. So that's a, a great opportunity for some stocking stuffers. Yeah, that'd be great to go ahead and start stocking up on those right now. That's so true. then when the season comes, that's right. people can do that. So what other events do you guys coming up with the new year? Well, with the new year, we're planning our, our annual film festival, the Thunder Bay International Film Festival. Tickets are also on sale for that in the Sanctuary Store. We just launched the sales last week. Uh, so that's January 21st through 25th, and we're really excited about this year. We've got over 30 different films. These films range from, you know, two minutes long to feature length films. We've got at least four filmmakers coming, and that's a really neat part of it. The, the festivals is the opportunity for the public and the film festival goers to interact with professionals in, in the field. So we'll have writers and directors and, and producers that will, will be on the panel, and that's just one of the sessions on Saturday. Um, but the festival runs from Wednesday through Saturday, uh, January 21st through 25th, and tickets are available now. Perfect, and are you guys still looking for volunteers for this? We are, we are. This is uh, one of those festivals, one of those big events that we'd love to do, but we could not do without lots and lots of volunteers. So watch for a volunteer appeal. If you if you know you're going to be around, you're interested in volunteering, give us a call at the sanctuary and, and we'll get you signed up to volunteer. All sorts of different uh, roles you can fill. Perfect. All right. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for coming on today and speaking about tonight's lecture and what's coming up in the new year. Thanks, Ashley.